Yo guys, so we're here today and I got my Express PSA return back. So as you guys can see below, all the info is down here. So I submitted them on 11-12. So, and I'm getting them back today. So it took around two weeks. Or it took around three weeks actually, just a little bit under. So just to give you guys a perspective in case you guys are like, oh, how long will my Express returns take and all that stuff. So just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, but yeah, so it cost me 75 per card and so after fees and taxes and all that stuff like shipping insurance it is at 412 so the five cards are listed down below right there we got a pikachu first edition venusaur charizard base metagross gold star and a charizard champions path and so nothing too crazy but i'm pretty hyped this is my first express i've been doing a lot of bulk and that just takes forever but so this is my first express return so we'll see how it goes um the prices that you see in the little uh, parentheses are the prices I paid for the cards so afterwards I'll like go over the cost of everything and just see how we did so let's get into it you ready yeah all right so just a preface I don't know the grades but I asked Van to look at them because I didn't want to pull a new move because there's this one dude on YouTube I don't know you guys have probably seen him he's like this hype beast dude but um he thought he, he had a Charizard a Japanese Charizard from base set and he thought it was gonna get a nine and it got a four so I didn't want to pull any moves like that, but I'll tell you the grades that I think the cards are getting and we'll go as we go. So let's just get it started. Yeah. All right, so here's the box. Box is pretty sick, wrap very nice. Make sure I cover the grades. Okay, I will. And so we have a stock X logo right here because Pokemon cards are hype. <laughs> so um, yeah, I thought that was crazy. I didn't know stock X played a part of like PSA until yeah. I started grading a lot, but kind of wild. It's kind of Five cards. We're opening it up. It's like a booster pack. I know, huh? It's going to be crazy. So here's that. Dang. The, okay, so the front card is like right here. So we'll do it like this. Like that? Yeah, like that. Okay, cool. So we'll do... So the first one's the Pikachu. So I'll just tell you guys the stories as we go. Um... But so basically, I found the Pikachu on offer up for three hundred dollars. It was this guy um, in another city selling it. So Bex actually helped me out, and we got the Pikachu for three hundred, and we got like some Southern Island cards and some other cards for like another fifty bucks. So it was pretty chilling. Um, but yeah, so this is a Pikachu first edition base set. So I paid three hundred. I'm expecting it to be. I really want a nine. That's my main goal. Um, it might be an eight though. It has a few smudges, a little bit of whitening, but I think it has a strong chance for a nine. So, I mean, I think it'll be a nine. It might be an eight, but we'll see what's up. So that's the first one. I've never done like PSA reveal things like this before. So let me think about how to do this good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have sticky notes. So we'll do it like that. Just stick the back, the front. Yeah. So here's the card. Oh yeah. That fits like perfectly too. Okay, cool. So then just fold it a bit up. Yeah, so here's the card. So here's the Pikachu right there. You guys can check it out. It's pretty clean. It has a little speck right there that I noticed. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, it's right yeah. there. It's a little, little speck. It has a little bit of whitening, like just barely. So I'm hoping for a nine. So you guys ready? All right, let's do the reveal. Nine, okay, sick, that's what I wanted. So first edition PSA nine, that's great. Honestly, I'm hyped about that. Ooh, okay, that's good. I was scared it was gonna be an eight. So we'll go over the prices of like where these are going and like how much I came up or lost or we'll, we'll do that at the end of the video. So we got a nine right here on first edition Pikachu. That's goaded, I can't believe I have a first edition in my collection. I've always wanted one. I'm like pretty new, so I don't have like the crazy first edition base sets. So this is my like first like good one but i'm pretty hyped on that so oh that's so good because i think this is like 600 we'll go over it later but so there's the pikachu oh i can't believe that honestly that's sick the next one is venusaur the next one is venusaur yeah. okay cool so next one is venusaur i got this from um watch we'll peel it so here we go so i got this from a local card shop for a hundred dollars so this was during when Pokemon was spiking like crazy. So I might have lost money on these. I'm expecting this one to be an eight or a nine. I was hoping for a nine. This one looked pretty clean when I was investigating it. 
So it might be an eight though, but if it can get a nine, I'd be super happy about that. The centering is not the greatest either. Um, so I'm not expecting a 10, but as long as we get a nine, then I'm happy. Cause I mean, I paid a hundred dollars for it. You pay the 175. I'm pretty sure a nine in a Venusaur is pretty like in the 300, 400s. So we'll see. I haven't checked the prices in forever, but so there's that. I'm pretty hyped about this one. Cause now I have, I have the Blastoise in an eight. And then we'll see what the Venusaur gets. And I have a bunch of Charizards that are just all over the place. So whenever they come back from PSA. So. Eight. Okay. An eight is fine. I'm honestly chilling on that. I was expecting. I really wanted a nine. But honestly, we'll definitely take an eight on that. I'm not too bummed on that one. Because now I have a, it to match the Blastoise too. Okay. What's next? What do we got next? Um. So next we got Charizard. I think the Charizard was, I was hoping for a seven. It seems like a solid seven. I was kind of gambling for an eight, but I don't think it'll be an eight. So, I mean, a seven is fine. I'll be happy with a seven. I really was hoping for an eight, but seven is chilling. That's kind of what I'm expecting. So this one I bought from the same place as the Venusaur. So this was during the peak of things too. So we'll just see how this one goes also. All right, so here's the card. There's a card for you, base Charizard. Um, I mean, it was pretty clean. The only issue is it had one scratch and it has like a lot of whitening right there, if you guys can see that, like on the bottom. But other than that, it's fine. So I think it's a, definitely gonna be a seven. Um, and I'm okay with that. So we'll see what we get. Seven, okay, cool. That's exactly what I thought. <laughs> so yeah, I guess my grading theories are pretty on point. Um, They've been on point so far, honest. Oh, look at that shine, though. That hollow it looks good on the camera, doesn't it, though? Yeah, it's fire. It hit kind of hard. That's kind of fire. Little bro, that's kind of fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's a funny YouTube comment. But yeah, no, that's super sick. So seven, definitely content with that. That's kind of what I was expecting. And then what do we have next? We got Metagross. the Metagross Gold Star. OK. So the Metagross, this Metagross I got locally, too. I got this one for 130. 130, 135, 140. I put 140 in the thing below, but it was somewhere around there. And so gold stars are sick. I was really, for this one, I think it's gonna be an eight. It's pretty clean. It has a little bit of hollow scratches, but other than that, like it doesn't have too much whitening or anything. Um, But yeah, I was hoping for an eight. So if it gets an eight, I'll be chilling. If it gets higher, I will that would be crazy, honestly, because I know a nine in this is going for like a K. I'll show you the card too, really quick. Yeah, there's the card. I have a PSA four version of this, but I don't really care about that one. I really want like a nice high grade one. So we'll see what this one gets. So you ready? Oh, let's go. Okay, so we got a nine on the met. This is honestly crazy. I think an, a nine in one of these goes for like a K, like not even kidding you. So. I don't know, we'll do the recap after this, after the last card. So, oh, that's so sick though. Cause I know gold stars are really rare. People really like gold star, so I'm hyped. I never thought I would have a gold star PSA nine, honestly. And I got it for like once, 140 plus the fee. So like 200 bucks for a Metagross PSA nine, pretty much. Whew, that's kind of heavy. Okay, cool. So I thought this one was gonna get an eight, honestly. All right, so then one more card. Last, last card. This one is the Charizard Champions Path. So I got it for 200 because I got it out of um, two or four Champions Path Elite Trainer Boxes. So I'm considering it a $200 card. Um, I don't really care about this card that much, to be super real with you. <laughs> but um, I think it has a strong chance to get a 10. It has It's slightly off-centered. I'll show you guys really quick. It's like slightly off-centered left to right. You guys can definitely see it there. And so I don't expect it to get a 10. I kind of just submitted it because it was sick and I wanted to just get it encased because it's a Charizard at the end of the day. Um, I definitely do think it'll probably get a nine because it's a little bit off centered. You guys can see it there. It's a little bit off centered and then it has like one white speck at the top left. So I'm not expecting like a 10. If it does get a 10, that'll be crazy. So we'll see. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting that, honestly. But, okay, cool. That's dope. I thought, honestly, I was like, 
because I asked Van, I was like, am I going to be disappointed in the grades? And he's like, no, they're what you think pretty much. And he's like, some are higher. And I was like, okay, that's dope. Because I didn't want to look like a noob. So I had to I'd make him confirm, you know what I mean? But I was not expecting a 10 on this just because of the centering. But I mean, there we go. You don't have to have perfect centering to get a 10. So, and I guess they didn't care about the little spec. So other than that, the card is very pristine. It's like pack, pack fresh. So we got a 10 Charizard VMAX rainbow. Ooh, that's crazy. Okay, cool. So here's our haul. Um, I'm going to do a cut real quick and we'll go over like the data of everything. So if you guys want to stick around for that, um, like and subscribe, you know. Hey guys, fast forward. We're back. I put these in um, PSA card sleeves real quick. So we're just going to go over the prices of everything and my L's and dubs. So, and just talk about how I thought about it, I guess, when I was buying these cards. So obviously these cards have dipped a lot all of these um base set cards and i kind of took that into account when i bought them i don't think i took an l but i just tried to find cards where i could get them for a specific price and make sure that if they got the grade i thought they would that they would the price i was getting them for would account for a dip pretty much because we were in a crazy time back then um because it was crazy spike so i don't know you have anything to say i don't know Anyways, so <laughs> we'll just get into it. We'll go into the prices. So at the end of the day, this card cost me $300, this Pikachu right here. And as you guys can see right here on the eBay listings, what are we at? Um, so 300 plus, we'll say 100 to account for grading. We'll just say 100 to account for taxes and extra stuff, you know? So it's cost me $400. So you can see one sold here for 865 with shipping. So... This one sold for six seventy. This one sold for six seventy, or six forty five. This one sold for nine hundred. Um, but yeah, these are all yellow cheeks. Checked out the prices. This one sold for eight sixty nine fifty. So I mean, what would you say the average is? I'd say like eight hundred is an okay average. Yeah. We'll say eight hundred is the average. So, right now, so after that, we're up four hundred from this Pikachu. So I pretty much got this Pikachu for half price, which is crazy. Grading is a good skill, guys. I swear. Like once you like get it down, you can all you can make like crazy mogul moves. So this one's good. I'm probably gonna keep this one for PC because it's my first first edition base set card that's like graded. So we'll probably end up keeping this one. Um, Venusaur I got for a hundred dollars, and so. I mean, I remember these were going for like $500, but now they dip down a little bit. This one went for, in a PSA 8, it went for 300 So at the end of the day, this one cost $100 plus a $100 grading fee. And so it was 75 but I'm just overestimating real quick, just so you guys know. But so an 8 is 300 360 actually. So I mean, we can say I'm up like $80. Yeah. That sounds fair. So this may, this can make me like 80 bucks if we're being real. I'll probably end up selling this one. Ah, but I kind of like it with my blast toys. Yeah, and the Zard. Yeah, the Zard if the Zard if the Zard was an 8 too, that would hit so good. Yeah. But eight. I know, but it's chilling. So we got an 8 in the Venusaur. Um so I was really hoping for a 9, but I was expecting an 8. So we'll take that. So we'll be like so we're up 480. Yeah. And then we got the Charizard here bam seven this one honestly believe it or not is probably the biggest l because i paid 400 for this at the spike points when everything was going crazy and i remember sevens were going for like a k so i was like oh it's easy it's chilling but right now they've dipped down a lot so i paid 400 and then plus a hundred dollar grading fee so we're at like 500 dollars. and so i mean a seven sold for 500 here you guys can see that another one sold for 700 471 um that one's kind of tough that's base set two um prices are all over the place so i'm not really sure 600 but people might be buying these to like regrade them someone bought a cgc7 for 500 so 700 prices are really all over the place i'm not really sure where to because you want to say it's 600 yeah I think that's it fair. seems fair because there are a couple like this one's 600 this is 730 OBO. I mean, we could go to 130 point and really gather the, the data, but we'll, we'll we'll estimate 600 for yeah. now. So I mean, I'm we'll do 80. We'll be like, I made another 80 bucks. I think I can make another 80 bucks from this if I wanted to like get rid of it. So yeah. we're at 560. 
Yeah, 560. Cool. This one, this one is the crazy one, though. This one is ridiculous. The Metagross Gold Star. I'm so glad it graded so high, honestly. So, I got it right here. Bam. I got this for 130, and then you add the grading fee, so we're like 230. We'll just get, say, 250, just to make the math easier. So, 250. This one sold for $1,100. So, there's that. 1,100. 1,000 OBO. This one's Japanese. 1,000. This one sold for 830. But the recent ones are like in the Ks. So, you want to just say a K? Yeah. So, a K minus 250. 750. We're at 750. So, 750 plus 580. Yeah. Um, let's do 750 plus... 550. Yeah, 550. What is that? 1300? 1300. So we're up 1300. So that's where we're at. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, and the last card, real quick, before I get into my, like, spiel about whatever. But, <laughs> so we got Charizard VMAX. Uh, PSA 10 is going for... 760. We got 760, we got 775. We got 700. We got raw 300. I didn't know they were still going for 300, honestly. I thought they would have dipped. So, I mean, I think it's fair to say like 700. Yeah. We'll say 700. So, what were we at? 13? 1300. Okay, so minus this one costs 200 because it took me four boxes to pull plus $100 for grading. So, 1800. 300. I mean, I mean. 1800. <laughs> Wait, so it cost me 300. So, I can sell it for a seven. Wait, okay, wait. So 700 minus 300 is... 1,700. 400. Yeah, we're so we're 1,700. Okay, okay, okay. So Van can do math. <laughs> Van has learned how to do math. But, so we're at 1,700 profit total, honestly. If I decide to sell all that, that's um, estimated revenue. I'm going to keep some. Yeah, so. we're actually at a loss because he's keeping all of them. Yeah, we're at an L, so I lost thousands and thousands of dollars. I'm in debt right now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the channel is shutting down. Um... Anyways, but so that's where we're at. I'll probably end up keeping the Metagross. There we go. Metagross and the Pikachu. I'll probably end up selling these. If you guys want these at all, hit me up. Let me know. Um, hit me up on Instagram at the Real Flex Gods if you guys are interested. I'll lace you up better than the eBay prices. Serious inquiries only. Yeah, exactly. So hit me up for that. Um, but other than that, honestly, um, what I was going to say is like, yeah, grading's fun. It's really, really fun if you guys develop the skill and the eye set for it, the skill set, <laughs> the eyes for it, the skill set and the eyes for it, then it'll be chilling. It really, really does add up. It's just when you buy, I have one thing that I've been thinking about a lot really quick for all the real ones who are this far. Shout outs, like and subscribe, comment. Tell me you're a real one. <laughs> but for the real ones, honestly, um, I watched this one video and he brought it up and it's really true, but profit is made at the purchase. So basically what he means by that is like when you buy something that's and the price you get it for and your the way you deal with it and the way you're like handling it is how you make your profit. Like if I buy the Charizard, like when I bought all these, that's when I made my profit because I knew my exact price I was getting them for was, oh man, considered. I just knew the true potential, but then I also considered all the market dips and considered everything, so... That's when I made my profit. It's not like what you do in between. It's And also too, like with condition and stuff, when you purchase, that condition is set in stone. So all those, you just have to think about that. I just really want to drill that in people's heads where it's like when you're buying, that's what determines if you ball out or not. So I'm sorry if that doesn't make any sense. I just wanted to put that out there. <laughs> you know what you should have said? Hmm. Like and subscribe. Okay, laters guys. Later. Later.